Hi Leo, welcome to your reading and this is your July the 11th and July the 12th of 2020. This is for Leo Ascendant, Moon rising and Venus placement on their chart. Jupiter may also resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. So cross watchers. If I describe someone here and you know that it's a total opposite of you, then it is not you. Okay. <clears throat> this goes to cross watchers and Leo alike. So cross watchers, just because you are connecting with Leo, you're going to assume that whom I'm describing here is you. So please don't. This is not a personal reading. If the description here is far from what is happening in your life, then this is not you. If the character that I am describing is a total opposite of you, then this is not you. Don't put yourself into someone else's shoe. For those of you who's new to the channel, you might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live reading. And on the live reading, you can ask me questions. If in case that you didn't catch me on the live reading, you can still ask me questions though. There is a link in the description box. Click that link. You will be routed to my page type in your question don't forget to click submit for those of you who's new to the channel you might want to consider subscribing um, if you also want to know your lucky number and lucky color you can check that in instagram it's already posted for july the 8th to july the 14th leo if you resonate with the reading congratulations if you do not resonate with the reading, then come back to the reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, then still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. So Leo, let's begin with your reading. Ego. And the Seven of Pentacles. It felt like you are waiting to get out of illusion. Illusion that was... Um, you are very enlightened now. You know that you were trapped in illusion. Um, I, I can see for a few numbers of you. Okay, I can also see that you are very compulsive. Um, buyer when it comes to material things all right you are buying things that is not necessary okay it felt like oh this is beautiful you know especially when it comes to online <clears throat> online um, shopping you are buying things that is not really needed okay there are also fear of scarcity that is very dominant in your energy as of the moment um when it comes to relationship like what i mentioned you want to get out of this illusion um that the other person casted upon you the high priestess did I tell you that you are very enlightened? Probably because of the Mercury retrograde. Um, the, the retrograde opened your eyes, your crown chakra. Okay. And you are very enlightened. Your intuition is also heightened. Um, this is the time wherein you are listening to your guides listening to your guiding guardian angel you're listening to your intuition you're listening to probably you are more becoming a spiritual at this very moment in time because it felt like you are alone in your journey it 
I can feel here that it's kind of dark and it's kind of sad. Okay. You're feeling alone and lonely. And that is also a fear. All right. Um, Nine of Pentacles is here. What you're striving to get is your happiness. However, getting out of this connection or cutting a uh, cutting the cord with this person is also one of your fear so you know um kind of like there are whispers that if you cut this per uh, if you cut this person in your life then you're not gonna get someone else you're not gonna be loved kind of don't listen to that okay that is an ego we need ego as a human all right but too much of an ego will devastate you okay ego most of the time are the dark side of ourself so you need to detoxify high priestess you need to detox detoxify your thoughts you need to detoxify your energy okay because you will never get out of the illusion if you are caught between doing it and fearing of not doing it because your ego is telling you that there is um, a negative thing that will happen am i becoming serious why <laughs> three of cups so you want a celebration um celebrating your life maybe even alone that's your main goal probably you are also in this situation that there is a third wheel in <clears throat> your situation third wheeling is not always a romantic um person right third wheel may be your person you are romantic with that person but there's a third wheel uh, third wheel on them may be family, friends, co-workers who wants to join in I don't know probably these, those people do not want you to be together it always shows up in your reading Leo what is happening seven of wands competition you feel like you are not enough your ego is also telling you that you are not beautiful or gorgeous human being aesthetically do not all right that is a demon in your head remove that all of us have flaws learn to love your flaws and shine through work with them all right the wheel of fortune something will change here six of pentacles um if this is not you then this is your person you're, I can sense separation, so you're missing someone, right? Um, things will change here. Um, I think, I, even though that I'm not seeing here, justice will be served. Um, but then again, if you're going to listen to your ego, then you're going to probably be trapped in, this, in a situation where you're at, okay? probably this there's someone here okay okay cross watchers if you feel like you are the focal point in this reading so be it leo if you feel like you are on the cross watcher side that's okay i'm not reading which side you at i am reading the energy someone here wanted to have a stability but i believe that this is you um leo knight of pentacles <clears throat> you want stability even though that this connection already stopped it's true so what I want to know here is this seven of wands five of swords seven of wands is a competition five of swords is also a competition so this is a strong depiction that your energy it felt like you have it felt like the energy feels like 
you really have to work hard for you to get approval you really have to work hard for someone to like you okay that's an ego people will love you for who you are because that's who you are you don't have to try hard um, there are people who loves you this is the end cycle of your journey if the world card if you can get out of the trap of the illusion that was casted upon you by um, by the person that you are connecting with so this is your reading Leo if you want to go in depth and <clears throat> you want to book a personal reading with me it's in the description box click the subscribe button smash that notification bell and comment down below I'm very interactive Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you in the next reading. Goodbye.